Well, there were a number of questions about the last video, and one of them was, could the wire that survived better have perhaps been number 12 as opposed to number 14? And if we look at it here, the answer is no. It's actually a number 14, just like the upper wire. So, first question answered. The next question was, maybe it would be interesting to cut open the splice and see what it looks like and how it survived. And so that's what we're going to do right now. So, I think we'll just very carefully try and cut the electrical tape away. It is worth noting that it's still in surprisingly good shape, even though it's clearly gotten brittle. And um, there is the splice. And here is the insulation on the continuing wire. Maybe hard to see because it is so black. The bottom line is the splice looks in pretty good shape. I'm going to try and unravel it and see how well the solder is sticking. But yeah, it really is amazing how well it did. So the solder is sticking. I am able to pull it apart, but we certainly see nice, good, clean solder under all the blackness. Now I have seen old solder on things like brassware and copperware deteriorating over time, and I don't know whether that was because of flux that was used. But it's certainly, certainly done okay. In fact, can I even get this last bit apart? Well, sort of. So, the bottom line is that the solder remained very much intact. It certainly is nice and silvery once we peeled away all the black charred stuff. And, well, it certainly did take the current very well. So, all in all, once again, very impressive. Anyway, there you have it. You wanted two questions answered. What does the splice look like? And there it is. And the other question is, what does the thickness of this second wire that survived better turn out to be? Turns out to be the same as the central wire, and that is they're both number 14. So that was the quick update. Thank you for asking those questions. See you next week.